I'm Dr. Michael Reinhorn at Boston Hernia. I'm going to talk a little bit about what to expect on a day of surgery when you're having your ventral or umbilical hernia repaired in our practice. Um, this is unique to our practice, but may translate uh, to what to expect if you're having ambulatory hernia surgery. Typically, we will repair hernias um, that are um, done either open or laparoscopic, and the, the day of surgery is fairly similar, uh, whether you're having mesh, no mesh, or laparoscopic repair. Uh, most facilities, whether it's an ambulatory surgery center or a hospital outpatient department, require that you come about an hour to an hour and a half prior to surgery, and this is very important. Um, you want to wear loose clothing. You uh, should ideally have someone with you if you can, just to have another second set of ears um, to hear what everyone is telling. Um, have loose, comfortable clothing, and um, you will be uh, registered when you first walk in the door. Um, you will then uh, be brought up to the, the holding area, which is the preoperative area. That's usually a room that may either have a curtain or a door that um, allows several team members to introduce themselves, to do some education, um, and to, to help get you ready for surgery. Um, you'll be instructed to change clothing uh, for this type of operation, typically for a hernia in the front of the abdomen, which is what a ventral or umbilical, um, you need to remove everything above the waist uh, below the waist, most people will keep underwear on and then they'll be wearing a gown. Um, someone from the team will start a, an IV, usually in the arm, that's to give uh, antibiotics and sedative medication um, to help you be comfortable um, during the surgery. Uh, you will then meet a nurse that specializes in getting you ready for surgery. Uh, that includes reviewing your medical record, uh, asking about whether you ate or drank last night. Each facility has slight differences in recommendation, but generally there's no solid food uh, after midnight before surgery and only clear liquids up to a few hours before surgery. Um, that includes clear tea, black coffee, uh, but we want you to avoid uh, any cream or anything additional to eat because it can slow down your digestion and make anesthesia less safe and therefore sometimes can cause delays in surgery or even cancellation. So make sure to follow those instructions uh, closely. Uh, once you meet the, the nurse that specializes in getting you ready, you will at some point meet the anesthesia team that typically includes an anesthesiologist and often a nurse anesthetist. Um, a nurse anesthetist is uh, someone who's incredibly highly trained, typically having had a background of being an intensive care unit nurse, and then has had additional training uh, to administer anesthesia, uh, and the quality of their care is outstanding. You will then meet the surgical team, uh, and maybe the same team you've met in our office, uh, and maybe somebody a little bit different, whether it's a different PA, and um, you will talk to, to them uh, as well as the surgeon performing your surgery. Um, since we do a lot of education in the office ahead of time, hopefully you've uh, watching this video uh, before you've gotten to the hospital. Um, we just give some written instructions and written information on the day of surgery. We find that, that the whole day is fairly overwhelming. And so we wanna simplify the process. Uh, we're just gonna make sure that you're feeling okay about having surgery done. Um, the, the surgeon will typically mark the site of the surgery, whether um, depending on which whose surgeon it is, um, will mark the site of where we're doing surgery. Um, rarely at that time we'll discuss uh, writing a prescription as the majority of our patients do not require prescription pain medication, but for umbilical hernia surgery, about one in five patients does require a prescription. And we'll talk about whether um, a muscle relaxant um, may be better for you than a opioid uh, prescription. Once you've talked to the whole team, um, you've gotten ready for surgery, the area is shaved, and then uh, you will head back for surgery. 
where the procedure could last anywhere from um, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, rarely longer. Um, and uh, once the procedure is done, you will wake up. You will have no recollection of much of anything from leaving that preoperative area to waking up from surgery. You will spend an additional one to two hours uh, recovering, letting the anesthetic come out of your system, um, eating a light meal, um, getting dressed in those loose, comfortable clothing, and uh, waiting for your ride home.